Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today's an exciting video you guys. I'm going to be reviewing a MAC Cosmetics foundation. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I've reviewed one of their foundations many many moons ago and this is the brand new foundation that launched on Sunday just a couple days ago. The MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation. As you all probably have noticed most makeup brands have been launching foundations that are packed with skincare and these sort of serum type foundations and this is something similar to that. This is supposed to be a buildable weightless 24 hour high hydrating formula that smooths your texture, evens your tone, and blurs the look of pores. Now this foundation formula is packed with skincare including hyaluronic acid and vitamin C along with a ton of other properties. I did pick this foundation up from the MAC store and it retails for $46. So if you want to see how I got this look with MAC's latest foundation formula then keep on watching. Okay socialite so this is the MAC bag. I feel like it's been so long since we've had one of these on the channel and this is the outer box that it comes in it says MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation on the front of it and I did get the color NW43 they did throw in a pack of Studio Tech sponges in here for free here's the actual bottle it's a glass frosted bottle with a black lacquered top super quality like most of MAC's packaging and then it has gold right on the front that says MAC Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation on the front. So it is a pump. You do have to turn it that way you could use it and then you could turn it back that way to lock it. So the color NW43 that I, I picked up stands for I want to say neutral or natural warm. So this is going to be on the warmer side of things. A little bit of a warm undertone. Not cool. Not like that golden or yellow undertone which I felt like worked best for me. This formula does come in 56 Six different shades you guys so they will sure they will surely have a shade for you with the shade range it does have the C range which is cool tones it does have NC which is like the neutral and natural cool tones and then it does have the NW's which are on the warmer spectrum I do want to note that their cool tones are really yellow really gold and really yellow with this formula so with some of Max foundations I do I go between like a NC for 46 or sometimes I'll switch up to NW43 which is this one with certain foundations it just works better for my skin tone. Now the website did not state how much of the product that you're supposed to use but like all foundations I usually start off with one pump so that's what I'm gonna do. So only that much came out let me put a little bit more okay so that's one full pump so this is about a pump and a half. Now because this has so much skincare packed into it, I did do my normal skin routine this morning where I, I washed my face, used my toner, and put a serum on. But no moisturizer because this is supposed to be extremely moisturizing. Although you can use a moisturizer with this one, I just didn't want to do too much. So I'm just going to distribute this pump starting in the areas that I need the most coverage first. As far as the how to apply instructions, they do recommend that you use either a foundation brush a sponge or your fingertips so I'm assuming that means depending on how much coverage you need if you use a brush you'll get more coverage if you use a sponge it will shear it out a little bit and then if you use your fingertips it'll give you somewhere in between so I'm going in with the real techniques 200 brush So this formula is a buildable coverage. It's buildable. It doesn't say, it doesn't state, y'all I read all through the website, it doesn't state if it's a light coverage, medium or full, it just says buildable. So using this brush with about a pump and a half, and I did use the entire pump and a half, it gave me about a medium coverage. I can still clearly see my skin through it and I can see some pigmentation through there still. Now the finish does look pretty radiant and it looks like it does have have slight 
plumping in there which from what I read it does have that plumping technology in the foundation so if I were to compare this to another foundation I would compare it to the Lancome Care and Glow it's sort of radiant like that and it delivers that sort of light plumping now right away I don't see as much plumping as I do with the Lancome but we're gonna do a wear test and I'll be able to let you guys know what I find from there so I'm not going to try to cover the rest of the pigmentation. We're just going to finish the rest of the face. Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. For cream bronzer, I'm going in with the Essence Baby Got Bronze little bronzer stick. Taking my Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener just to brighten a tad bit under the eye. To set my highlighted areas, I'm using the One Size Ultimate Powder. This one's in the color Ultra Pink. I'm using my Sephora number 99 brush. For blush, I'm using the Makeup by Mario blush in the color Perfect Pink with my IT Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. Since this is about the complexion, I'm going to finish my eyes and come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. For lip liner, I use the Hoss Labs Matte Crayon in the color Mahogany Matte. For lipstick, I used Baby Doll from Iman. And for the gloss, I used the Sephora Collection Glossed in the color brave so the website does state that you're supposed to get at least 12 hours of long wear from this product so we'll be the judge of that it's now 11 a.m so i'm gonna wear the foundation for the rest of the day and come back and let you guys see how it stood up okay y'all so it's three o'clock i had to run out but i wanted to show you guys how it looks four hours later because it's gonna probably be way later when i close the video out um, but this is what it looks like. I feel like the color is, I feel like the color is good. If anything, I would bring it down just to like right here. But from the front, I think it matches pretty good here. Um, that's the only thing I was debating. Like, did I get the right color? NC50, I couldn't do that because it looked too brown. And the next color up lighter than NC50 is NC47. And that was way too golden. Like it stood out golden. So this is definitely going to be the closest color. This is NW43. NW45 was way too dark. So this is the closest match. And if I'm looking here and then here, I think it is the closest match. Um, it hasn't super emphasized my pores or anything like that. It hasn't really settled in fine lines. I do like how it sort of plumped out a little bit here. And this always tells the story for me because I have that line here so if it feels that out then the plumping is doing its job so not too shiny at this point haven't blotted my face so we'll come back later on tonight and give the final update Okay, socialites, so I'm back. It's a little bit after 6.30. So it's been about seven and a half hours since I first applied the makeup. This is what we have. So I will say that I like the overall finish of this makeup. I love the way it looks like skin and I love how glowy and radiant it looks over time. So even though we're like seven and a half hours in, it's a little bit more shine than my liking, but I still like how glowy it is, if that makes <laughs> any sense at all. My fine lines look pretty much normal is normal as they will look with any foundation so wasn't emphasized at all and there's no oxidation the color pretty much stayed the same it does plump like the Karen glow that I was telling you guys about so as you wear it longer it starts plumping a little bit more and a little bit more until it gets to this point see how smooth this is right here naturally I'm not smooth right here. I have like a little dent right here. So that lets me know that the plumping properties really work and I love that in a foundation. I'm just gonna blot it a little bit 
I feel like somebody with oily skin could definitely wear this. If seven and a half hours, if you can do like a light blot, if you wanted to, you could take your powder brush with just the leftover powder and kind of go into the places where you hit it with your napkin or whatever you blot it with. So this foundation is definitely a yes for me. Comment down below if you've tried it already or if you're interested in trying it. Every single thing that I use today, including the shades, will be linked down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come back, join the family, come watch some more videos by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are. Don't you stick to show me love. Cause too fresh with the scars.